Hello, and welcome to All Shorts. Now, if you're a regular to the channel, you might have noticed I haven't uploaded any videos to this channel. I have on my other channels and even gone live on my other channels. But this channel, after uh, my live stream on Sunday, do you know what? I really didn't feel like it. I really didn't. I, did, I just, something happened on Sunday. It really threw me. I thought, crikey, what have I done wrong? You know? The channel's already on its last legs anyway. I mean, but I've told you it so many times before anyway. You know, it's just, that's not what this video is about. But it's, um, I just want to apologise for really not for uploading any videos. But I just didn't feel, like I said, I just didn't feel up to it. Now, I want to make something, something clear that, whether it be in the live chat, on a live stream, yeah, in the live streams, what have you. Or even in the comments on the videos, because I do still read the comments. I don't reply that much these days, I'll be able to be honest with you, but I, I am going through them. But I don't hide people. I don't uh, block people. And if I did, you'll know why. Simple as that. And if any of the moderators do that, for any reason, what have you, and it's, que and it's queried, or I query, query it, I'll, I'll ask. Generally speaking, I, I know, I can see for myself who's been, uh, uh, you know, been hidden or blocked or whatever. Well, but it was... Uh, what it is, is that one particular subscriber to the channel, and he's a lovely, lovely, lovely person, and there was a mistake made. Unfortunately, somehow, that person got uh, got hidden in the chat. And they took a little bit of offence. And I can't understand why. But there's no... Re You'll know if there's a reason. If you say something really derogatory or offensive to people or anything like that, well then, obviously, we're going to hide you or, or delete the message or something like that. If it's nasty. Offensive is racist. I've got, you know, the moderators on the channel know that I've got a fairly, um, you know, wide tolerance. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I, can, I, I can take it. Don't worry, I can take it. I really can. But, but sometimes I just, it just, it gets to me. It's like, crikey, why would, why do you think I do that? You know, especially if you're a regular to the channel. So that did get me a little bit, and I just didn't. After that, I just didn't feel like uploading any videos. So I do apologise for that. I'll still be uploading on my, on my Wally Bra channel, um, my Woodworking channel, I'm still um, making live streams on there. It's a different kettle of fish, though. You see, the, the Wally Bra channel is, you know, my Woodworking channel. It, there's no one really there to... You haven't got factions, you know what I mean? You haven't got, like, you know, the, like the right, and you've got the left, and people in the middle, and what have you. You haven't got this bashing of heads, you've got those racists, and you've got people who aren't, you know, you haven't got that intolerance going on like you do on a, pol a politics channel. Obviously things I say offend people. If I take the mick out of people, if I take, say people are stupid, that will offend people on the left as well as the right, you know? Because that's how I feel. I think, I think people are clearly stupid. And somebody's got to say it. You know, you might sound stupid for saying that. <laughs> so what? You know? We have to have a little bit of, um, how to put it, freedom of speech. Okay, it comes with consequences. You know, it's not, you know, you can't just say anything, but Saying someone's a bit, you know, a little bit had, um, a bit slow. <laughs> Although I'm a bit slow these days since I've got five in my LJ. My brain is just, uh, I, I have these like times I just can't collate. You probably know it's actually, I can't, I have to, f it's part of the reason why my, my, my mannerisms, the way I actually make videos, I can't always get all my ducks in a row and I struggle. And also when I'm talking, I struggle because I've got um, constant problems with my throat. Now, the LPR, which I think it's basically got so, so much flip and phlegm. I'm constantly having a clear out. It's always on my vocal cords. And I, you know, just, um, my vocal range is just completely shot. If you want to look at my earlier videos, you'll see what I mean. Totally different. So I've got a really horsey voice now. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get on top of that. But it's sometimes it's really strug I really struggle with it. Now, I did an interview yesterday, with, um, which I'll be uploading. I've got to edit the videos, yeah, part way through it. Um, which I'll be uploading on this channel uh, later with um, Rejoin... Uh, EU party and it was uh, I found, uh, although it went really well and I was very pleased I was struggling maybe I was talking too much I was struggling because um, 
uh, my throat. I have to kind of manage it, if you, do, if you understand what I mean. I was, I just can't get my words out. I've got limited vocal range though, it's, um, so it's difficult. So I think, if, what, if I'm going to get attacked, it wasn't a vicious attack or anything like that, but it feels like a little bit of an attack because I wouldn't do something like that. I wouldn't hide people unless you'll, you'll know why, because you know full well what you've done. You know, if it's otherwise, well then quite frankly, well then something else has happened. And the thing is, you see, whether it be the moderators or myself, and I generally don't do anything like that on the ch uh, in the live chat, uh, moderate, unless I'm on my own. Um, but quite often I've got, I've got a couple of moderators in, in the chat and they're really good, you know. And it is hard work. It really is. Especially when I do it on the short feeds, you know, the little vertical feeds, because you get all sorts of strange people. <laughs> You really do, but but on the uh, yeah the normal format that we normally do on a Sunday, we tried the vertical format, but it was just too much hard work, especially for the moderators. But if they're working off a mobile phone for whatever reason, it's really kind of them to do it. You know, they're not getting paid, you know. They're giving up their time to take part. It's really kind. I do appreciate. It. I really do. So all the moderators that help us out, I really really do appreciate it because I wouldn't be able to help me out, and I think I'd give up to be honest. It's just too much hassle. It really is. But you see, the thing is, when you're moderating, especially if you're moderating on a mobile device, you've got three little dots, okay? You press on three little dots if you're on the comment or chat or in the chat, and then you get an option of what, what to choose. They're also flipping close together on, on a mobile device. It's really hard to actually be able to moderate them. It's not easy. So it's quite easy to make a mistake. You know, clicking on the wrong one, for instance, and hiding or uh, deleting or whatever you're doing or retracting, or I don't know, yeah, um, blocking or whatever. It's quite easy to do, to do or even time out. Um, to click the wrong subscriber or the wrong um, person in the chat. It just is. And I think we all need to understand that, maybe. Because I've done it myself, actually, in the past. To be fair, I have actually done that myself. Oh, great, what have I done? <laughs> and I've managed, you know, rectified it. But what is the point if of the channel and or going live and stuff like that if people aren't enjoying it? What is the point? You know, that's the thing I'm asking myself at the moment. That's kind of it, it, all the, the person involved explained to him, and, uh, and everything's fine. But the fact that it just even happened. And obviously you get the delay, and then it goes around your head, and you can't think straight, what have I done wrong? Da, 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 da. You know what it's like, it's the same with anything, isn't it, you know? Like that, when you get criticised for stuff, and you think about stuff again, 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 and you think, oh, okay, what do I do? do oh, maybe that was wrong, maybe I shouldn't have done this, maybe I've done that. And, it, you know, it's just, it, in this case, it ended up being just a bit of an accident. It was just an accident. Especially with it, unfortunately, it was, a, it was one of the subscribers to the channel who does wonderful contributions to um, the videos. You know, and I really do appreciate it, and I do read them. Quite long. <laughs> but, you know. I don't understand why, because we have quite a bit of a conflab as well sometimes, so it's like, I don't understand why, well, why people think I'd actually hide them, or put them in time out. Not deliberately, anyway. But anyway, I, I, I don't generally do it myself, unless I'm on my own anyway, but, um, yeah, as I before, anyway, so I have to apologise why I haven't uploaded any videos this week, and that, because obviously people, um, I do, I've got some loyal followers, I've got lots of people who are leaving, <laughs> and I get a few new ones, and that kind of balances out, so the channel ain't growing at all, it's not growing at all, and because of that, you know, you think there's any future in it, there isn't, you, you know, it's a bit like the UK's GDP, you know, if you've got no growth, where's the future? Unless you can see light at the end of the tunnel, I can't see any at the moment, not with this channel. It gets me down sometimes. It does. The politics itself gets me down sometimes because I, I worry about people. I'm a bit, of a, like, I'm a bit of a snowflake like that, you know. And also how it affects us. We've got our own worries now. We've got the possibility of a, a Marine Le, uh, Le Pen being the, being the you know, in power by 2028 or 2027, 2020. Oh, anyway, whenever it is. So that that does concern us. So we've got that worry because obviously. Will there be a Frexit? Will there be this? Will the trade corporation agreement be pushed to one side if there's a Frexit? So we've got our own worries, you know? And also I'm trying to build up my other channels. My woodworking channel's grown very fast. 2,000 subscribers last month. That's 
crazy. But I still push along with this channel. And if it wasn't for the people on the channel who, uh, also those who obviously help as well, you know, regarding the, if I buy me coffees, Patreon, and members and stuff like that, um, and the super thanks and what have you. Um, if it wasn't for people doing things like that, I wouldn't be able to do this channel. I wouldn't. I, I haven't got my out. It's probably what the channel's failing, actually. It's probably because I don't have my heart in it as, as I once did. I really don't. And I didn't really know what direction to take with it. My early videos were a bit nutty, you know, when it was growing. But I, t I spent a lot of time editing. Anyone, anyone watched my earlier videos, even though they're crazy, uh, I spent six hours editing one video. I can't do that. You know, <laughs> especially for the obviously, um, if, if you're going to equ equate it to an income, if that was your thing, I kind of have to. I've got, I've got, I, oh, since Brexit, you see, it screwed my business over big time. I mean, I have to earn money, a little bit of money somewhere. And then when you've got dogs that need medications and stuff like that, constant trips to the hospital with my wife and what have you, and myself, you know, I've got my problem, fibromyalgia, uh, LPR, I've got some tests and stuff like that. And then you worry that everything's going to be, um, you know, like an excuse for every single ailment that you might have. You went, yeah, uh, fibromyalgia could actually mask something more serious. You worry, yeah, it's just constant worries. <laughs> so, I do wonder if it's worth it. But for some reason, I keep getting drawn back into it. I can't wait. I can't really walk away from it. I just, I just, I just can't. It's hard. It's, why is that, I suppose? Because I actually do care what's going on in the world. So it makes me shift, shift, maybe shift the channel somewhat. And just, you know, uh, arguments sake into environmental news or something like that. I don't know. Still be politics, but be with, you yeah, know, but with an environmental. That's, that's something I believe in. It's a serious issue. I'm sitting here in our fields. I've been planting trees. I'm sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway, I had to get out of my system. I do apologise if, if that was a bit of a boring video. But, you know. Oh, the, I'll tell you what, the other thing that's really annoyed me is the fact that my postal vote didn't come. And it ain't going to come in time. Even though I did it in good time. It was never going to come in time because they said they got to post until the 26th of June, so there's no way it's going to get here post Brexit. Because uh, postal, postal um, times are increased considerably. It used to be three days and now it's nay up to seven to ten days. So it's potentially 20 days lost with it getting here and getting back again. So it's never going to get back in time anyway. Or we're never going to receive it in time. So it's a that's a bit of a an annoyance. And what the, so the thing is you see but there's like you know uh, no taxation without representation and all that sort of stuff. Because I do pay taxes in the UK, so not a lot, but I do still still pay some taxes in the UK. But the fact the fact is, it kind of makes me disenfranchised from from oh, from England, not not the UK. Cause I've got no issues with Scotland whatsoever. I think they're going through hell under this, this yeah, under Westminster. But I feel disenfranchised with England. I I feel disenfranchised with my roots. I think it's a bit sad. And the Tories did that. Brexit did that. All the racist thugs did that. Bigots, xenophobes, etc. Who crawled out from under their stone because of Nigel Farage and said that's okay to do so. Just like Steve Bannon said, you know, wear racism on your wrist or something, like a badge of honour or something. You know? Hopefully he'll be in jail by the 1st of July, so he's supposed to be. Steve Bannon, that is. So it kind of, um, it makes me feel a little bit, had, let's like say, disenfranchised. And I do feel disenfranchised. I feel disappointed in what is going on in the United Kingdom. Anyway, I've digressed. <laughs> so I think it's time I better shut up anyway. Time for me to go, say toodaloo, you know. Say toodaloo.